This is a typical Victor handle. It's designed to deliver the gas in a safe manner to the mixer. One of the big misconceptions in our industry is that the mixer is in the handle, and that's not true. Each individual component has its own mixer. Today, we're going to talk about heating and cutting, the most popular uses of the torch. And this is a heating attachment. A heating attachment can be used for heat treating, uh, priming, descaling, straightening, many other options. Before you use this heating attachment, you need to be sure to check the cone end of your attachment. It has two O-rings, and on those O-rings, you have to make sure they're neither missing nor damaged. That could lead to a leak that might lead to an accident. So be sure to repair them or replace them before using. And here's a typical cutting attachment. Do the same inspection on the cone end as Ken just advised. In addition, we also want to make sure that we check the seating end for the tip. No dents or scratches in here because this will eventually be a metal metal seal. Before attaching the, the cutting attachment to the torch, we want to expect the seating area of the torch handle and also the thread assembly. Then you want to attach them hand tighten only. At this point, if we use a wrench on it, you're going to damage the O-rings. So we're going to hand tighten this on there. All right. After you get that on, one of the things we want to do, we're now going to take and open this preheat valve all the way on the, on the handle. If we don't open it all the way, you'll get a restriction in your cutting oxygen. This will now be your preheat adjustment for your oxygen. Now we'll take a look at the tip. You want to make sure you inspect the tip on the end, make sure the preheat holes are free of debris and the cutting hole itself is free of debris. You also want to check the seating end. This is going to be a metal to metal seal, so we've got to make sure there's no scratches or dents in the system. Now unlike the cutting attachment to the handle, we'll now tighten this on with a wrench. And you need to tighten it securely because of the metal metal seal. We'll then take a look at the cutting attachment, make sure it moves, the cutting lever itself, make sure it moves freely, there's no resistance, and we're ready to go. Your torch inspection checklist should include the following. Inspect valves, fittings, and seating areas for damage. Ensure both O-rings are intact and in place. Ensure the torch is free from oil and grease. Make sure the tips are free from slag or obstructions. <laughs> 